So let's start with uh, the ooze unlock maybe. Gonna take a quick look at this guy. There you go. Seems like something like, a, I don't know, a molten giant or something. Fiery stuff. Two stars to start. What's that, La Salle? How do you say that, La Salle? Weird. Looking good, looking good. Kinda like it. So, ooze. Frontline strength hero who spits out ooze to strike enemies and has survival abilities. So what else? Ah, fresh ooze. That's what he said. Ah, fresh ooze. Look at the gear now. Expensive or not? Starting at P1, you got Moon Glow, P2, a Staff of Brawlis, P3, another Staff, and a Rough Hewn Axe. Then P4, you got another Moon Glow, two Titans Axe. That's another Moon Glow, so that's four. And then Force of Protection, so HP and Armor, Magic Res, and Magic Res. So he's already got pretty good gear. He's got pretty good gear. So we're gonna look at the skills. Spit Ooze. So that's the ultimate skill. Spits out ooze and deals physical damage to his enemies as well as the subsequent damage over time. The skill does not harm flying units. Oh, that's something new, new game mechanics. Like usually flying and ground units, it didn't matter if they were flying or not. They were just, just another unit, you know, but this guy, the ultimate skill will not damage the flying units. So if this guy happened to be very, very good, uh, you have to deal with that and try to counter with flyers. That means Griffin at least. And we're talking physical damage here and damage over time too. So it's going to deal a big initial damage plus damage over time. Spread ooze. Lassell spread ooze over a large area, dealing damage and slowing the enemies down. The skill does not harm flying units again. This guy's gonna be pretty weak against flyers. Each Lassell's normal attack creates a drop of blood ooze in a random field. If the blood ooze hits an ally, it restores its HP. So it's random, it could be on your side or the opponent's side. Huh. Uh, and could hit no unit at all. But it could heal or it could damage the other side. It's random. And then poison. When he, when he takes damage, he's gonna deal poison to nearby enemies. But it doesn't say it doesn't affect flyers. So only the first two skills don't affect flyers. Oh well. That's it for the first uh, first preview. Because you know I don't want to spend skill points here today. I'm working real hard on my forest fairy right now. So we're going to look at this guy a little bit more later this week. But right now my focus is on forest fairy. First impression though. I, th I think I like this guy for now. Um... <clears throat> the the new mechanics like now the differentiate differentiate is that a word the the ground units from flying units something we we didn't see before in this game except for the dragon portal i mean it could be interesting like like i i'm thinking clash royale you know there's a big difference between ground units flying units and then units that target ground only in units that can target both ground and flying i mean they could exploit that they could do a lot more around that so you will have to work a, a bit harder on your counters you know dealing with flyers 
or using flyers against unit that only target ground it, it could be really interesting to to bring that into that game so that's interesting but yeah the healing is random i'm not a big fan of rng and random stuff like i mean like dwarf warrior when he came out he was one of the first real well thinking also queen of curse and stuff but you know a, a hero a hero that you don't know what's going to happen so usually when you put something in your lineup you want that thing to happen you put it there for one reason but when you put someone in your lineup and you just don't know what's going to happen i mean if you need a healer you're going to bring a healer to your team if you need a you know damage dealer you're going to bring a damage dealer but someone that you don't know if he's going to damage or heal I, i'm not a big fan of random skills like that but you know hero look good it's a bit different from what we've seen so we will see guys later this week i guess for for us fairy first all right so what do you guys think about this guy i know a, a bunch of you guys were really anxious to see that one uh from the day they did the the, the previews and they announced the next month heroes I know all, out of the three heroes they announced, you guys were pretty excited about that one. More than the other two, right? He's looking good. 